Hello everyone! As of recording this video, Sakura has yet to reveal any costumes for Pyra and Mithra. Which is odd considering the alternate costumes usually get revealed alongside the fighter. I just think he wants to showcase them during the presentation, which is totally fine by me. Like many others, I want to believe that we'll be able to set specific costumes for both of them. Imagine Pokemon Trainer, except you can pick specific costumes for all the Pokemon. That would be super sick if it happens. Either that, or Sakurai has something big in store for costumes in general. Only time will tell. The first one I want to talk about is the Gourmade Disguise outfit. This one is universally liked by everyone and it's pretty gosh darn cute. This is the one I'm hoping will be added, but I think it's safer to assume they'll go for recolors. Not only that, but I don't think they would give Pyra a unique costume like this when Mithra has no equivalent of her own. I could be wrong though. They gone on record to give the DLC fighters unique costumes in their wardrobe, so perhaps there is a chance. If it does get added, I will definitely be using it. Seriously crossing my fingers here. Then we have... The Mithra styled Pyra outfit, which is pretty self-explanatory. This one I'm like 100% sure will be added alongside another costume I'll touch on later. There isn't too much to say here. It's Pyra, but with Mithra's color scheme. I think it looks pretty neat. If anything, I think the Mithra color scheme is super nice overall. You can't really go wrong with it. Then there is Blue Sky Pyra, which is based on a spoiler I won't talk about here for obvious reasons. I'm actually really fond of the color scheme used here. I like how the colors match together. I think this one is likely to become the quote-unquote blue costume for Pyra. This is the Pro Swimmer Pyra outfit, a one-piece swimsuit based on a regular outfit. It's pretty cute. Considering how far they had to go in terms of censoring Pyra and Mithra for Smash, this outfit's chance of getting in is like... minuscule. Then again, we have Zero Suit Sam's in a two-piece, Swimming Trunks Shulk, and Topless Sephiroth, so perhaps it doesn't matter in the end. Alright, time to move on to Mithra's outfits. The first one we have is... Wouldn't you know it, Pyra styled Mithra. Yep, it's Mithra with Pyra's colors. This is the one I was referring to earlier. I don't think it looks as good as the counterpart, but I still think it's neat. Color swaps between Pyra and Mithra seem like a no-brainer for alternate costumes, that's for sure. And this one is Carbon Mithra. I believe it is based on Mallows, with a bigger focus on blacks and purples, although the green light remains green. Honestly, really cool color scheme. Purple is one of my favorite colors, so I would not complain if this one made it in. I can definitely see it being one of the popular ones used by a lot of people. And last but not least, of course, Radiant Beach Mithra. A one-piece swimsuit based on a regular outfit. It does take a few things from Pyra's design with the two cutout parts of the hip though. Again, I highly doubt these swimsuits will make it in, but I want to at least showcase them and talk about them a little bit as potential candidates at the very least. That being said, they have plenty of things to choose from even outside of the DLC outfits. Just like Shulk, Pyra and Mithra's Smash costumes could definitely be based on the different party members you get throughout the game. Or, you know, other characters from the game too, not just party members. Whatever they pick, I'm sure it will turn out just fine. In any case, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my little venture into the land of Smash costumes. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you really liked it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and take care.